Hi, I'm Pastor Steve Liam from Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. Welcome to Daily Hope, our way of reaching out to all of you in the virtual world with words of hope and encouragement from God's Word, filtered through the lives of some very normal people who happen to be pastors. Some of you know that there were many years when I did an incredible amount of travel for work, and one of the most frustrating parts of it was going through TSA security checks. I'm not sure how familiar you are with airport security these days, but it's a mess. And so too is everyone who comes out on the far end of it. Have you ever watched it? I'll tell you, some people are sent through the metal detector multiple times, each time shedding more articles of clothing. Removing belts, shoes, socks, headbands, watches, bracelets, rings, jackets, you name it. People are an absolute wreck when they come out on the other end. And there's even a word in the English language that describes it. It's discombobulation. It means to cause to be in a state of confusion, upset, disoriented, uncomfortable. Well, one day when I traveled through the Milwaukee, Wisconsin airport, I was surprised and bemused by a sign above the area just outside security that read Recombobulation Area. <laughs> I thought to myself, how great is that? A space identified for and devoted to getting your act together so you can move on. I was so impressed, I took a picture of it. Here it is. I think there's a parable about our lives hidden in that scene. With the year we've been through, we all feel a ton of discombobulation. We've been pushed, pulled, paralyzed, prodded. Much of what we've known and loved has been lost or feels unrecognizable. Many are lonely, grieving, fearful, uncertain, anxious. We need a recombobulation area. And lo and behold, God provides one just when we need it most. It's Christmas. The simple, profound, earth-shattering news that God's Son, Mary's boy child, Jesus, is born. And you and I are invited to drop everything else and come bow, come bow before the manger in worship. I wonder if perhaps God smiles and posts a sign above the scene that reads, Recombobulation Area. Come get your life together again. Resort your priorities. Remember who's in charge of the universe. Come home to me once again. Sing the carols, light the candles, hear the angel's word, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Do you hear that? Unto you, unto you that are watching and listening to this message, unto you, God sent his Son, his one and only Son, to love you into his kingdom, to walk with you in this world and welcome you into the next. The old prophet Isaiah put it this way, Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Please join me in prayer. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, help us to discover this recombobulation area for our lives here before the manger before the glory of this birth of your one and only Son, born to save us from our sins. Dear God, may we indeed lay down the burdens that we carry to shut off the white noise of the worry and concerns that afflict our lives and listen once again to your angel pronouncements. Unto us is born this day a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. May we find there at your manger the peace that you promise us in your presence. We ask it for the sake of Christ. Amen. Thanks again, friends, for joining me for this message. If you appreciate these messages, I hope you'll click like, share, or forward them to a friend who needs a little hope. As you do, remember that you are loved, and you are never, ever alone.